Construction entrepreneurs in India are losing millions because they believe traditional on-site concrete is stronger than precast. While conventional construction relies on unpredictable weather, inconsistent mixing, and variable curing conditions, precast concrete is manufactured in controlled factory environments with precise quality control. Multiple studies and case reviews show precast delivers much more predictable quality and on many projects, better structural performance because elements are produced under strict factory control. Case studies in research show time savings commonly in the 30 to 50% range. Material waste and water use shrink dramatically and some projects show meaningful cost savings, though outcomes depend on scale, distance to the plant and building type. If you run a precast factory or manage projects, this comparison focuses on where you can improve strength consistency, speed and margins. Your concrete strength assumptions might be costing you projects and profits, but the real problem runs deeper than most contractors realize. The research notes that India has a very low percentage of skilled labor, which increases risk of inconsistent on-site concrete batching and workmanship. When experienced masons and concrete workers are scarce, projects rely on untrained hands to execute critical structural elements. Precast plants use trained crews, repeatable molds, and automated batching to reduce human variation. On-site pores face variable temperatures, humidity, and rain that affect curing. Weather and inconsistent curing create measurable variability in strength. Studies repeatedly show on-site batches have wider strength variance than factory-produced elements. Factory curing and controlled environments stabilize temperature and moisture so elements meet designed strength consistently. Cast-in-place shuttering and poor on-site cutting lead to material waste and variability. Wooden formwork damages after limited use, requiring frequent replacement that increases cost. Improper cutting and sizing result in material loss across projects. Precast eliminates repeated side shuttering and reduces waste through streamlined, repeated molds. Field applied mortar and alignment cause variability in load paths when installing AAC blocks or other masonry elements like clay bricks. Inexperienced workers apply mortar inconsistently, creating weak joints that compromise load distribution. Precast load-bearing wall or frame systems can have the same issues, but they can integrate construction tolerances in the factory, reducing variability in connections and joints. A multi-structure project in research cut schedule from 9 years 10 months to 5 years 2 months and saved roughly 45 lakh rupees overall demonstrating how precast affects both time and cost in real projects. On many sites, monitoring and testing are intermittent. Manual batching introduces human error in material proportions, with cement content variations common across different batches. Water addition depends on operator judgment rather than precise measurement, affecting final strength and workability. Mixing time inconsistencies result from equipment limitations and worker experience levels. Aggregate quality varies as suppliers change, introducing different absorption rates that alter concrete performance. Factory production includes systematic testing per batch, which lowers the chance of undetected defects on the finished element. Manufacturing facilities maintain consistent temperatures year-round. Automated batching systems ensure precise material ratios with accuracy within right tolerances. Computer-controlled mixing guarantees consistent blend times and thorough material integration. Quality control personnel conduct continuous monitoring with immediate corrective actions when deviations occur. Factories can accelerate early strength through controlled curing regimes, including steam curing and systematic testing, delivering predictability early strength that on on-site curing rarely matches. Standardizing mold systems create consistent dimensions and surface finishes. Regular strength testing occurs on every production batch, ensuring reliable structural performance before elements leave the factory. The bottom line is that the research shows the biggest source of strength variability in traditional construction is process inconsistency. And precast removes many of those process risks. But there's something most contractors never consider about how precast concrete proves its superior strength before it ever reaches your construction site. Precast elements are routinely designed and tested to withstand lifting, transport and erection. This forces factories to validate handling strength 
and dimensional accuracy before shipping, reducing the risk of surprise at site. Factory produced concrete withstands crane lifting, truck transport, and multiple handling cycles before installation. Traditional concrete sits undisturbed after pouring, never proving its capacity under dynamic conditions. Precast gives predictable quality, faster schedules, and lower on site waste. However, Cost outcomes vary with project size, distance to the plant, and building type. So evaluate each project using these variables. Time savings commonly range from 30 to 50 percent, and some case studies report overall cost savings like a multi-structure project that saved rupees 45 lakhs. If you run projects or a precast plant, run a short assessment, estimate transport distance, typical project scale, and how much schedule compression would increase your margins. The research shows that these three variables mostly determine whether precast will beat cast in situ on cost. If you want, comment the biggest on-site quality issue you face and I'll point out the relevant precast solution from research.